Right, so hey guys, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. I figured out I might as well do a Python tutorial since I know it's been a really, really, really long time since we've done one. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to make it really short and I'm going to show you how to basically send an email using Python. So, without further ado, let's begin. First of all, I'll start by creating a new Python file. Oh, my computer froze there for a second. Okay, text file. Call this file anything, but don't call it email. You can call it email1 or whatever, because if you call it email, it's going to produce errors. Just so you know. I'm going to call it email1 for now, and then I'm going to edit it in idle. So, first of all, what you want to do is we're going to be using uh, smtplib, which is a library that allows us to send emails in Python. So, import smtplib. Well, if you haven't got it installed already, I recommend you do. The way you would do that is by opening CMD and then typing in um, pip install smtplib. Well, mine shows up as an error because obviously mine's already installed, but by default, I think it should be installed in your computers. If it wasn't, then just follow the steps I just did before using pip. So once you've done the import, what you want to do is initialize a few variables. So we're going to need the sender's email address. So sender email equals, I'm going to be using one of my old accounts. So tonofo at gmail.com. This is where you're going to type in the email that you're going to be logged into, which you're going to send the, using which you're going to send the other email. Then we need the receiver's email. I'm just going to do rec for receiver email. And that's going to be my current email where I'm going to be receiving the email. So just type that in as well. Then you're also going to need the password for your email so that you're able to log in. I'm just going to put that as an input string. Please enter your password. Okay, then we also need the message which is going to be sent over the email. So for this I'm just going to say, hey, this was sent using Python. Okay, so now that we've initialized everything, we want to go ahead and start a server. The way we're going to do this is um, to start a connection to Gmail, we need to initialize a new variable called server. And then we need to assign that to smtplib smtp and then in here is going to be the server address which we're going to be connecting to which is going to be smtp lib smtp.gmail.com and then the port which we're going to be using is going to be 587 i think after that what you want to do is um start the connection but how you're going to do that is type in server dot start tls and then after that, you want to um, log in into the server. So server.login, the sender email, which is your email, obviously. So you're going to use your email and the password to log in. Once we're done with that, we can just say print login success. OK. And then after that, what you want to do is finally send the email. So server.sendmail. Um, there's three arguments needed here. So the sender email, which is your email. The receiver's email, which is the person receiving the email. And the message, which we have saved into the variable message. Okay. Once all this is done, we'll just print email has been sent to uh, receiver email. And now we're going to try and run this. Hopefully it's going to work without any errors. Okay, so please enter your password. I'm going to enter my password. Obviously it's going to be blurred out because I don't want you guys sneaking around my email box. And we have an error. So it says the server is not defined. That's probably a spelling mistake that I've done in the... Yeah, there we go. I missed out an R here. So if we put an R in here... And now we rerun the program and type in my password. Login success. And as you see right here, it says email has been sent to 
johngodino at gmail.com right now I'm gonna go into Chrome and just cross check that I've received the email I'll go to my Gmail quickly and as you guys can see right here it says hey this was sent using Python form 12 at gmail.com obviously so yeah that was it for today's tutorial guys hope I was able to help you um, if you guys want any further Python tutorials please make sure to drop them in the comments um, and I'll see you in the next one also don't forget to subscribe peace out